The escalation of President Trump's criticism of Jeff Sessions exposes a rare public divide between an American president and his attorney general. Jeffrey Brown reports. I am disappointed in the attorney general. Uh, he should not have recused himself. The president's latest salvo came this afternoon at his news conference with Lebanon's prime minister. That followed a morning broadside on Twitter declaring Attorney General Jeff Sessions has taken a very weak position on Hillary Clinton crimes and intel leakers. And yesterday, another tweet that called Sessions our beleaguered AG and plaintively asked why he's not investigating Hillary Clinton. American so what's next? The president said this there. today. I want the attorney general to be much tougher on the leaks from intelligence agencies. But we will see what happens. Time will tell. Sessions was a veteran Republican senator from Alabama and in early 2016 became the first in that body to endorse the Trump candidacy. After he won, President-elect Trump nominated Sessions as attorney general. But less than a month after Sessions' confirmation, it emerged that, despite earlier denials, he had, in fact, met with the Russian ambassador during the campaign. I should not be involved in any campaign investigation. In early March, Sessions recused himself from Russia-related investigations, a decision that still angers the president, as he made clear to The New York Times last week. How do you take a job and then recuse yourself? If he would have recused himself before the job, I would have said, thanks, Jeff, but I can't, you know, I'm not going to take you. It's extremely unfair, and that's a mild word to the president. The next day, Sessions said he had no plans to resign. We love this job, we love this department, and I plan to continue to do so as long as uh, that is appropriate. The attorney general has not been heard from since, but several Republican senators have rallied to their former colleague. Today, South Carolina's Lindsey Graham called the president's rebuke of Sessions for not prosecuting Hillary Clinton highly inappropriate. And Utah's Orrin Hatch said he was surprised. Jeff has been very loyal to the president, and I think uh, he deserves loyalty back. Democrats warned that forcing out Sessions would spark a new firestorm. Many Americans must be wondering if the president is trying to pry open the office of attorney general to appoint someone during the August recess who will fire special counsel Mueller and shut down the Russian investigation. Even so, the new White House communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, told conservative radio host Hugh Hewitt that the die may be cast. It's clear the president wants him gone. Is I, have an enormous amount of, I have an enormous amount of respect for the attorney general. Uh, but I do know the president pretty well, and if there's this level of tension in the relationship that, that that's public, um, you're probably right. A scout is trustworthy, loyal. We could use some more loyalty, I will tell you that. That level of tension may have been in play last night at the Boy Scouts National Jamboree. The president brought with him cabinet members and former scouts Ryan Zinke and Rick Perry. But Eagle Scout and Jeff Sessions was nowhere to be seen. A very high-level rift now out in the open. We get more from our own John Yang, reporting from the White House, and Sari Horwitz, who covers the Justice Department for the Washington Post. John, you were at that press conference today. Where does this leave things as far as jo Jeff Sessions holding on to his job? Well, you know, the president rejected the uh, suggestion of a reporter that he had been leaving uh, Jeff Sessions slowly twisting in the wind, to use an old Watergate phrase. But at the same time, as you heard in, uh, in your report, he said he's got no timeline for when he's going to make a decision. It is clear that the president uh, sees a direct line from Jeff Sessions recusing himself from the uh, Russia investigation to the appointment of Robert Mueller as the special counsel and this investigation that is dogging him still. Uh, he told the Wall Street Journal in an interview before that news conference, if Jeff Sessions didn't recuse himself, we wouldn't even be talking about this subject. So it's clear he is still very frustrated, very, uh, in his words, disappointed in his attorney general. And Sari Horowitz, is there anything more coming out of the Justice Department? Do we, do we know how the attorney general is taking all this? 
Well, you know, it's just been an extraordinary spectacle playing out here in Washington. And I've been at the Justice Department all day, and all indications are that Jeff Sessions is not going to resign and that he's moving forward with his conservative agenda. He really, more than any other cabinet member, has been putting in place, moving quickly, methodically, to undo Holder, Eric Holder, and Obama policies at the Justice Department. And he's moving forward on that. He's compartmentalizing these disparaging comments by the president, which I'm being told by people at the Justice Department he's been doing since he got in uh -huh. uh, as attorney general in February. You know, he recused himself in March, and this has been going on since March. Sari, you, know, you and your colleagues reported uh, today on dis discussions within the White House about replacing Jeff Sessions and how that might happen. So those discussions are taking place? We heard they had been taking place up to now, but, you know, it's interesting today, the conservative media, Breitbart, Rush Lumbaugh, Senator, conservative senators came out and said, we like the policies Jeff Sessions has been putting in place. And actually today, late afternoon, Jeff Sessions announced another new policy, a conservative policy, to crack down on so-called sanctuary cities and tie very important federal grants to local cities and states, um, to tie those grants to restrictions, like if the states seem to be harboring illegal uh, immigrants, undocumented immigrants, they won't give them the money. And what we're hearing is tomorrow or the next day, he's going to be announcing uh, that the Justice Department is indeed doing leak investigations. John, what, what do you make of the uh, support that has been uh, ever more vocal today, in fact, for Jeff Sessions from friends and allies? Well, I think, you know, Jeff, it really is one of the, uh, the, the, the conundrums of this, is that he is extremely popular among Tr Mr. Trump's base, uh, largely because of what uh, Sari's just been talking about. Uh, his, his stand on illegal immigration, on sanctuary cities. Uh, remember that he was actually Steve Bannon's first choice uh, to be a, pres a presidential candidate because of his immigration policies. But it, then it became clear that he was not going to run. So I think that, uh, and one of the outside people that President Trump uh, talked to, has been talking to about this, tells me that that is something he did remind him, that Jeff Sessions is very popular among his base, and you've heard it from a lot of particularly Southern conservative Democrats on the Hill today. And, John, we did hear also at the press conference the president again raising the issue of leaks today. So that, that remains connected to all of this. And you, got, and you also have to wonder if that's if what his, he's talking about with his tweets. And, by the way, you know, as Sari points out, he is going after a member of his own cabinet as if he was one of his primary opponents in last year's election. If this, uh, this constant pressure... On, uh, on Sessions isn't some sort of leverage to get the Justice Department to act on these, uh, uh, these leaks, which have been his real bugaboo uh, in, in all these stories coming out of the Russia investigation. Sari, just in our last 30 seconds, what about that? What about the leaks connection to all this sort of public furor we're hearing? We know Trump is angry about the leaks. Uh, and as I said, we've been hearing late afternoon at the Justice Department that within the next day or two, Attorney General Sessions is going to make an announcement that the Justice Department has been doing leak investigations, uh, maybe showing his tougher side to the president um, and indicating that along with illegal immigration and criminal justice policy, he's also moving forward on finding the leakers. Sari Horwitz, The Washington Post, and John Yang, our own. Thank you both very much. Thank you.